Okay, now that we have looked at um, the three different methods for dividing, I'm going to do one more example uh, of a problem using the, all three different methods. The first method is the place value sections. The problem reads, an airplane travels 3,822 miles in one week. It travels the same distance each day. How many miles does it travel per day? So I see the information we have in the problem. Oops. The information that we have in the problem is 3,822 miles, and that's in one week. Because it travels the same distance each day, and we want to know how many miles per day, that means in one day. So I know that I'm going to use division, and I know that there are seven days in one week. So I'm going to start by making my area model, the boxes. I'll need as many boxes as there are places in the number that I'm dividing up. Since I'm dividing up 3,822, I am going to make four boxes. I'll start by putting the entire number, 3,822, in the first box. I'll put 7 on the outside, similar to how you would set up a regular division problem. So I see here that I am trying to figure out how many times 7 goes into 3. But since 7 doesn't go into 3, I will ask how many times does 7 go into 38. I know that 7 times 5 is 35, and so I'll put my 5 up here, but I'm not really just dealing with 1s. I know that that was 38 hundreds, so I'm going to put my two zeros here. Then I'll multiply. 5 times 7 is 35, annex two zeros on the end, and subtract to see what's left over. 322 is left over. That amount goes up into the next box, and I repeat those steps exactly like I did for the first box. So I want to know how many times does 7 go into 3? Well, it doesn't. 3 is smaller than 7. So I'll say, how many times does 7 go into 32? I know that 5 times 7 is 35, so that's mu too much. 7 times 4, then, would have to be the best answer. Again, I'm not dealing with 1s. This time I was seeing how many times 7 goes into 32 tens. So this is 4 tens, or 40. 4 times 7 is 28. Annex is 0, subtract to find the difference, and I end up with a difference of 42. That amount goes up into the next box, and I know that 7 goes into 42 exactly 6 times. So when I subtract, there is nothing left over, so no remainder. And now all of these added together would be the answer, 546 miles per Day. Now we're going to do the exact same problem, except this time we're going to use the expanded notation method for division. This gets set up just like the traditional method. I put 3,822, 3, my dividend, inside the division bar, and 7 will go on the outside. Just like before, 7 doesn't go into 3, but 7 does go into 38. I know it goes in 5 times, but because I'm dealing with 38 hundreds, that would be 500. 5 times 7, or excuse me, 7 times 500 is 3,500. Subtract to find the difference, 322. 7 doesn't go into 3, but 7 goes into 32 4 times, and since that was 32 tens, I would make that 40. 40 times 7 is 28, and x is 0, subtract to find the difference. And I know that 7 goes into 42 exactly 6 times with nothing left over. These, again, need to be added together in order to find the total answer of 546 miles per And finally, there's the traditional method. The traditional method is eventually where everyone um, should end up. We start off by putting our dividend, 3,822, inside of a division bar with our divisor on the outside. 7 doesn't go into 3, but 7 goes into 38. So I'll put my 5 above the tens place, excuse me, the hundreds place. 5 times 7 is 35. 
subtract to find the difference, and I get a difference of 3. Bring down the next number, and now 7 goes into 32 4 times. 4 times 7 is 28. Subtract to find the difference. Bring down the final number, which is 2. 7 goes into 42 6 times. 6 times 7 is 42, so there is no remainder. What you're doing here with the traditional method is basically just skipping the step where you have zeros. But what where your zeros would be is where you are bringing a number down. So you're just eliminating that extra step of adding to find the total quotient.